So we keep hearing these sort of clunking sounds. This is a really pretty floor here. Because uh, the hydrogen kites in the eye in there. Amazing colours. Yeah. What we got there, the straws were broke off there, look. Oh yeah. Here's a nice one. And gypsum crystals as well. See the little needles? Yeah. Gypsum needles. Oh. Who wants some old rope? Is it old? Oh, oh wow, look at this. Oh, wow. That's amazing. It's the fountain of youth. <laughs> Good lord. Wow. And there's all rails and stuff down there you can yeah. see. God, there's formations on the wall in the water. I turn my flood off, see if it can... Yeah. How's that? Turn, can you go to... Hang on, I've got... Turn your spot off, put your flood on. No. And uh, it's not working. Spot is better, isn't it? Yeah. Look, um, lift up on the wall there slightly. There you go. Check it out, folks. That is beautiful. Mm. Flooded, another it's flooded Seriously deep, isn't it? Yeah. Zoom out a bit, that might make a difference. And it's like an eye. Yeah. The and eye these iron, the iron formations on the wall. So just looking at the, the side of this winds, there's that niche over there. There would have been a long timber balk going across to that niche over there with a platform. And there would have been another one of those windless drums on top to wind the oar out. So that color is superb. <laughs> I'm not sure it, it could be the copper. It, well, it probably is the copper in the water, I guess, because we are talking about a copper mine. And then it's all of these. can't get down there. Yeah. And then all of these formations then. Iron, hydrozincite, and they form these little ripples on the edge of the pool. Yeah. Hey, look up above, behind. I'm sure it does look like a level. Oh, yeah. It does look like oh, a level. That's worth an exploring gap there. Yeah, that looks yeah, like a level. The, hang on, there's air. You can feel air coming down. I can feel a breeze coming down. That's interesting. Can you feel it? Mm. Yeah, that must be a level. And there's a way up. We could bolt up that. Yeah, we could bolt up that easy. easy. I can definitely feel a blast of air coming down from there. Yeah, you need three bolts, one there. One yeah. Up there, one up there. Yeah. Wow. We'll bring an extended ladder and check that out. That should work. I love this. This is amazing. <laughs> Let's see what's around the corner. Oh, God, the water. Looks like yogurt. <laughs> We've got some spikes, yeah. brackets. Oh, and remains of a of a wooden barrel. Look at this up here. It's the side planks of a wooden barrel. Probably for carrying gunpowder. A little stash. It's yeah. There's an old ladder in here. Oh yeah. Awesome. There's a kibble under there. There's a ki there's a kibble buried under the timbers. There, you can see the rim. There's a wooden kibble. Oh yeah. It's actually buried under the timbers. And under the rubble. Yeah. There. What what's your thought, John? I think this. If you look at these straps and the timber box, I think this is the platform that we just saw on, that would have been on top of that. Yeah, here it is. Look, see the slots? It's the windlass again. This is the windlass. That slot is where the drum would have been with the handle on it. So this is actually the timber work from the identical windlass that would have been on top of that. And the kibble is still under it. They've taken it apart and dumped it there when that was abandoned so they could get the wagons past because with that thing there, there's no room to come past it. No. So they've just kind of dismantled it and <clears> dumped <throat> it all in this corner. And never came back. And never came back. Let's have a look at this level. Gee. Look at the uh, calcite on the, on the wall. Loads of it. Nice and white, isn't it? Wow. It's cool, man. This is beautiful. Look at it. Old timbers. God, this stuff, look at it. Cool, look at it. Oh, this is beautiful. Check all that out. 
Amazing. And there's a little pool of formations here. See this? Little bits of formation. And just sitting here. Wow. Goes on. There's a big huge slab falling off the ceiling here. Yeah? Is there? Oh god, yeah, that's huge. <laughs> Hopefully another one won't fall. <laughs> Glad I wasn't there when that came down. <laughs> Where does that come from? Off the side of the wall, I think. Yeah. It's fallen. I love these formations. These are beautiful. It's a habit of mine, isn't it? Yeah. And literally on our doorstep. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think we'd find this today. And it goes on. Nice. And it goes on. Up and over and down again. It's a tight squeeze. Well, Very tight squeeze. Glad that my jumper's already grey because it's getting greyer. <laughs> oh no. Get tight squeeze. Right. Here we go. I'm gonna go down backwards, I think. Okay. <laughs> Clay. <laughs> Oh wow, opens up to a big level. Does it? Yeah. Wow, this mine never stops. I've made it, your one's turn now. And look, it goes into a, another level. But the water's deep back here, it's gonna be over our wellies. Here he comes. Um, I think it's over our wellies. Oh, is it? I really don't fancy getting wet. No. Um, let me try. That's a shame. God, that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. It goes on. Oh, I definitely can see right here. It goes around the corner there. Yeah. Unfortunately, the water's too deep. It's quite well. It's definitely over the wellies, and I don't. We don't really want to get soaking wet. No. <laughs> so, um, tune back to find out what's around the corner. Yeah. We'll have to go back for that one. Yeah. Out you go. Tight squeeze. Came all the way through here. You came through quite clean. You make it look easy. <laughs> Don't mean to take them there. There you go. See if I can make it look easy now. <laughs> That was alright. I made it. <laughs> Not too filthy. I think um, losing over 17 pounds of weight helped. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Another reason why we haven't been exploring is I caught a very bad virus and uh, it was extremely awful for quite some time. I've got over it now and lost a bit of weight, but. Um, that's another reason why we're not out sailing either, because my strength isn't 100% yet. Once I'm back to normal, we'll uh, be out sailing again. Oh, that was uncomfortable. I leaned over, and the water droplets went right down the inside of my trousers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I woke you up. That's not bad. Worse. Anyway, look at it, look at it, lovely. I love this. Yeah. This is just, look at that right there. Awesome, man. Let's have a look. 
flood on it. Another yeah, one there. It's amazing. <laughs> it's whiter than snow. It's right on the vein. It's all leaching out of the vein. You can even take it home with you Oh yeah. <laughs> it's falling off the wall. Gee, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen such a nice hydrogen kite before. Are you on? Yeah. This kibble you're on about. Yeah. It doesn't look like kibble to me. Does it look like? It looks like a barrel. Alright. But not like the normal barrel. What do you think? It's... Hang on. It's got a brass... There's like a green ring. The camera can pick it up. No, it's yeah, it's a. It looks like a beer barrel. It's got a green uh, ring where the tap would be on the side of it. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, it's a converted it? beer barrel that's been turned into a kibble because it's all wooden. They nicked it from the pub on a Saturday wow. night. Wow! <laughs> and they've converted it. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because all yeah. the kibble is is a wooden cask. Absolutely. Wow! So they've actually converted. A it's beer a, cask into a kibble. It's a shame it's uh, buried underneath the wall. Yeah, we can't risk moving the wood because yeah. it might block the whole thing. Let's have another look at this amazing thing. Oh, it's misting up now, look. That's a shame. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Truly amazing. I love that. Yeah. It's pretty cool, actually, where the water... What it is, it's where we've been standing in the water and the dirty water, look at this, and the, di and the dirty water is trickling into the pool and it's carrying the mud with it. So it's like, like a fogging machine. <laughs> it's a folk machine and a disco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Underwater disco. Well, it's like a disco mine with all these colours as well. Yeah, amazing colours. Yeah, it's a disco mine. <laughs> That's the name for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see all the wax? I think this is modern though. Yeah, it's a modern candle, but the wax is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's been in here before us, wasn't it? Rave. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a disco. Here we go. Here's the portal. On the way out. The sun is shining. Nice. You're boiling up there now. Yeah. yeah. A long walk back to the car. This is a bit of luck though. Finding a footpath like that is always worth following because if it gets in the line at the other end. Absolutely. <laughs> and doing your research helps. Yeah. And actually I didn't see any on the way in. And I'm seeing quite a few shuffles now on the way out. But I think they've enlarged this level. Right. Um, you know, after the original level back there, really small, but they've made this section bigger, they've split the floor out, made it a bit wider. The original, the back edge would be small. What do you think of that then? Shame uh, we only had got wellies on, couldn't go further, eh? That was a really good mine, I enjoyed that very much. It's, it's frustrating, uh, especially as we got all filthy to scramble through there to find the water in too deep. But, oh, yeah. That was a pain. Um, <laughs> I'd like to say thank you as well to everyone who keeps uh, putting their thumbs up, all the kind comments. We don't respond to all of them. We just, you know, we're both working full time. Five to six days a yeah, week so at the moment. We, so it's just... Absolutely. But yeah. we want to, you know, we're still doing, still going exploring in the evenings and stuff. So that's why, you know, if we ever miss a week or something like that, it's just because of work and other commitments or whatever. But absolutely. Thanks everyone for keeping with us because we're still doing it. Appreciate it. Um, like this one now, we had a spare hour. We did a bit of research. We knew it was here somewhere, so... We got the haunted. We said the haunted mine was next. We have got that coming up. We're taking a friend of ours with us to get his opinion. Our friend Phil, uh, fellow caver, miner, explorer. We're going to get his opinion on it. See what he thinks. Uh, also, um, if you're ever in the area in Mid Wales and you uh, there's a couple of you who want to come exploring with us, drop us a message through Instagram or my Facebook. Links in description. We'll take you for a quick explore. And, uh, I found to, some uh, galena. Here we go. How about that to finish oh, off look with? At that. <laughs> nice bit of galena there. See that? That is neat.
some goodies on the spot. Yeah. Could. So. So yeah. So hopefully we'll see you at the haunted mine next time. Yes, we but will. Unless we have any other sudden inspirations during the week, but uh, hopefully we'll do the haunted mine with a friend of ours on whenever. Yes. All the best to you. Ciao for now, and see you next time.